Hello friends, welcome to today's video. Uh, I'm filming this the same day that I'm going to post it later on this evening. I sincerely hope all of you are doing well um, and staying home. Uh, I am self-isolating by myself. <laughs> so I've spent a lot of time uh, by myself over the last week. Uh, sometimes in a good place, sometimes not so much. I'm lucky to be able to work from home uh, since last Wednesday was when I started working from home. Uh, and yeah, I went and picked up the mail today. I haven't picked up the mail in a few days and my Ipsy package arrived. I don't know when it arrived, sometime in the last week or so. I have cleaned it off <laughs> before bringing it in. Um, and I thought we would open it together today. Uh, yeah, I think that's all there is to say. Um, so I'm gonna open it up. I actually have a towel here that it's sitting on because I sprayed it down with like some cleaner and I just don't want it getting on my bedspread. So I'll probably leave it sitting down there. Um, I really liked my Ipsy last month. So I'm hoping that this month is good as well. The things that I tend to like is I like getting masks. I like getting um, skincare that you don't need to take a long time to test. Uh, I enjoy little makeup items. Uh, so let's see what we get. So the bag this time is this sort of blue teal, which I think is really cute with sort of a lime green yellow accent on it. Uh, it is that sort of plasticky feeling that Ipsy bags often are. And it says this is the 100th Ipsy glam bag. So I guess it's a little bit of an anniversary. Got all the cute little studs on there. So let's open this up and see what we got. First thing is a squeezy tube. So I'm gonna th say maybe skincare. It is a clay mask. It is a Generation Clay Ultraviolet Brightening Purple Clay Mask. There we go. I feel like we're all gonna have some time to use up our masks that we have. <laughs> so this is awesome. Nourish, Brighten, Radiance, Refine. Made with Davidson Plum, which I did not know was an ingredient. Uh, and the how-to is online. It is cruelty-free. That's awesome. I even said at the outset that I like getting masks in these bags, so that is cool. And it also, you know, seems like it might be kind of a fun one to do on camera. This is a flat little box. So I'm gonna guess it's like a highlighter or a blush or something like that. Okay, this is from Lottie London. I've gotten stuff from them before. And this is Shimmer Squad The Good Girl Powder Highlight. I'm getting good at guessing what items are gonna be from their boxes. So I think I got a blush from them last time. I'm trying to remember. Let's take a look at what this looks like. Okay, it's a little pan, so it's not in a, I'm gonna have to find sort of a palette to put this in, but it's a pretty standard champagne, pulling a little pink kind of highlight. I sort of did a very weird makeup thing today. I am actually not wearing any foundation whatsoever. I just put on some blush and some highlight, a little bit of concealer here and there, and then somehow my eyeliner went wackadoodle. You know when you draw it and it suddenly becomes too thick? And so I have no foundation and over the top uh, eyeliner. But I'm just going to, don't worry, my hands are clean. That feels really creamy. It's not super shiny. It almost has sort of a, ooh, oh, that gets shiny on the cheeks though. I was gonna say it almost has a powdery feeling. It almost looks like it has sort of a purpley reflect. Ooh, that is like a blinding kind of highlight. So I'm gonna swatch on my hand as well. So yes, that, that highlight has some shine to it. Awesome. Now I'm gonna look extra shiny for the rest of the video. There's the card, I'm gonna take that and put it out of the way. It probably talks about their 100th anniversary. And let's see what else there is. It's not, wait, there's gotta be some other stuff in the bag because I only have two more items in here. So let's take a look first. Okay, we have a Hey Honey. I've gotten a number of things from them before. Relax Propolis and Honey Soothing Moisturizer. Calms redness and upsets skin. I do like honey as an ingredient. I have enjoyed their products before. I mean, being a sample, this is the kind of thing where you wouldn't really get to use it for a long time, but it's interesting about the redness and upset skin. I almost feel like this might be something that would be good to keep for the summer so that if I do get too much sun at some point, I'm gonna have to read up a little bit more on what this does. Okay, another squeezy tube. Okay, it's from Tarte, that's awesome. Wow, they made that hard to read. Nothing like white lettering on 
very light blue. So this is Tarte Quench. Oh my god, <laughs> my eyesight isn't that bad, but what the heck. Hydrating Primer. So it's a primer, which makes sense. Tarte C. Okay. I have not heard of this, but I also feel like I've been a little out of the loop with like new releases lately. So I'm always happy to try a primer and I do like a good moisturizing primer, even though it is technically spring, there is a snowstorm going on outside and uh, being inside in this air all day, it's very drying. So anything to add some moisture to my skin is more than welcome. So since that was four items, I'm gonna see, yes, there is stuff left in the bag that I'm just going to dump out here. Ooh, two more things. And I think that somebody mentioned this in the comments that uh, they were doing an extra item. So the one here is a brush. It is from Firma, and it just seems like sort of a nice flat shadow brush, which I mean, I can always use. Somehow, even with being trapped inside for a week, do you think I found any time yet to clean all of my makeup brushes? Haven't made it to that point of boredom quite yet. So uh, yeah, this will be nice. Feels nice and soft. And then it looks like we have another skincare item. Coconut the Coffee Scrub Organic Feelings. So sexy skin is just a scrub away. I'm filled with antioxidants, minerals, and essential oils, which help neutralize the effects of aging, drying, and dead skin. Each of my ingredients work together to moisturize, exfoliate, and protect you from residual dirt and damage. By harnessing the power of organic oils and vitamins like grapeseed oil, almond oil, vitamin E, and arabica beans, your skin will appear radiant, feel silkier, and smell wonderful. I'm here to help you on your voyage to rejuvenated skin. Hashtag the original coffee scrub. So there we go. I do like the packaging of this because it feels like a bag of coffee. So the recommended use is one to two scrubs per week. Turn on the shower and dampen your skin. Use about two small handfuls of the coffee scrub to cover your body. With circular motions, massage the scrub on your skin. Concentrating on problem areas, then you leave on for five to 10 minutes and rinse off and feel the difference. I'm actually really excited about this. I like, I'm not a big fan of physical exfoliators for the face. I've mentioned that a number of times before, but for the body, I'm all in and, uh, yeah, I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of time to sort of be pampering myself in the shower over the next little while. And uh, this seems perfect. I love the idea of starting the day with this. I, I'm a coffee drinker and I love the like the smell of fresh coffee. And I feel like this would probably have that. You know what? I'm gonna open it up. It has a little reseal-y thing on here, so I should be able to, ooh, okay, it's gonna fall all over the place. I just opened it a little bit just with the smell. Yes, that does smell like coffee, which is wonderful. I'm gonna put this down where it's not gonna spill all over everything if I can help it. And that's awesome. I am happy with everything from Ipsy this month. So let's take a look at the card and see what all the promo is, what's going on. Celebrate you, March, 2020. This is your invitation to a celebration of our 100th glam bag and you. Let's high five how far we've come and where we're going, except not because we're not gonna be touching each other. Virtual high five. <laughs> to get the party started, we've added a bonus product as a thank you for being along for the ride. Open up your six glam bag picks valued at $50 plus and cue the confetti, it's time to have some fun. So it tells me a little bit more about the items here. Oh, and actually they they tell you in here the prices. They haven't done that with Ipsy before, so that's interesting. Turns out coffee, sorry, the coffee scrub one is first, isn't just for your morning zing. It's also packed with antioxidants, which are great at repairing and protecting your skin. Uh, so if you buy the full size version of this product, which is 200 grams, it's $21.99. So let me look at what size this is. So this here is 50 grams. Um, I feel like you would maybe get a couple of uses out of this. So the full size would be four times this size for just over $20, which isn't bad. It's a little pricey for a body product because you go through them pretty quick, but not terribly expensive. The Hey Honey Relax Honey and Propolis Soothing Cream. Uh, it says it's for sensitive skin. It's a lightweight moisturizer made with gentle ingredients like aloe, honey, and propolis. Uh, to hydrate, repair, and comfort your skin. It even works well with inflammatory skin conditions like acne, rosacea, and seborrhea. Seborrhea, too. And the full size of that product at 70 milliliters is $42, which is fairly pricey. 
The purple clay mask says, don't let the pretty purple color of this clay mask fool you. It packs a powerful brightening punch. Thanks to the combo of oil absorbing kaolin and bentonite clays and exfoliating Davidson plum, a gentle, naturally derived alpha hydroxy acid. That sounds good. And it says a tip is to rinse the mask off right as it begins to tighten, but still feels slightly wet at about 10 minutes, which is actually a really good trick for most clay masks. If you let clay masks get to the point where they are super dry and like cracking on your skin, you've probably over dried your skin at that point, pulled out all of like the good oils from your skin. So clay masks can be really good at pulling out some oils, but you probably, especially if you don't have super oily skin, don't want to let it get to that like hard crack stage, which I know is a candy making term, but I feel like it applies to masks as well. And the full size of that mask is basically $30, $29.99, which is pretty good for a mask. The Lottie London Shimmer Squad Highlighter, uh, the full size is $10.99, so it's a pretty good price brand. The, oh, the, the brush is a concealer brush. I wouldn't probably use that for a concealer brush. Um, and basically it's a $13 brush, which again is a pretty good price. And the Tarte Sea Quench Hydrating Primer, whether you're going for a full beat or a natural look, this lightweight and super effective primer will make sure your hard work doesn't fade. It'll help your foundation last longer and keep your skin hydrated for up to 12 hours with hyaluronic acid and marine plant extracts. Uh, and the full size is $32. Uh, so yeah, it's supposed to be a moisturizing primer. And uh, they do some different giveaways and things. So yeah, I am very happy with this bag. I think it's going to be fun to play around with. I just keep seeing the shine of the highlighter on my cheeks in the little monitor that I have. Um, but yeah, this is good. And it's been a nice little pick me up in the day. Uh, thank you so much guys for hanging in with me. It's been a weird uh, while, <laughs> um, but I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Let me know what you got in your Ipsy bag if it was different than what I got. I'll leave that in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, let me know how you guys are doing and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.